All right, Adore, thank you. Well, new this week, all child welfare investigations are now under state management. For decades, several local sheriff's offices in our area had handled these cases. 10 Tampa Bay's Malik Rankin explains the impact this transition is already having. Manatee and Seminole County Sheriff's offices were the last to hand over their cases to the Department of Children and Families on Friday. These seven sheriff's offices have been managing these cases for decades, dating back to the 90s. Now thousands of cases and hundreds of investigators have transferred to the state. This change comes following a bill lawmakers passed during the 2023 session repealing a Florida statute that allowed for local protective investigators. In Hillsborough County, through public records requests, 10 Tampa Bay learned at the time of their transition last month, the department was managing 904 active investigations. In the 2022 calendar year, the turnover rate for child protective investigators was 49%. Across seven counties, 147 CPIs transferred to DCF as a part Part of this case management transition. This transition impacts a vulnerable population of Florida's children, cases of abuse, neglect, and abandonment. I reached out to every Tampa Bay Area Sheriff's Office impacted by this legislation, Hillsborough, Pinellas, Pasco, and Manatee. None will interview with me about this transition. Today, when I asked the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office why, they said DCF asked all interview requests be deferred to them. I reached out to DCF two weeks ago for an interview, and I'm still waiting to hear back. In studio, Malik Rankin, 10 Tampa Bay.